vehicle which is normally used for the military. It's a vehicle which is no longer on the market unless you are able to get it from a company like this. The reason for this is because it's on a Euro 5 and now Euro 6. Unfortunately, these vehicles cannot be done on that basis. Now, let's have a look at the vehicle itself. Now, look how powerful and uh, that is. Indeed, the camping unit, if you like, the habitation area is completely separate from the truck itself. And what you could do, if you find something you really like, but you need the truck elsewhere, you take the camping unit off. It looks a bit like a container. It's built to fit into a container and be shipped off wherever it may be needed. And that you can do, and you can live in the habitation area whilst the lorry bit is off somewhere else. Let's have a look inside. So, set the steps up into the van, habitation area, should say. And getting up here, suddenly from this tough looking exterior, you've got this warm and pleasant looking interior. Seats around a table, a kitchen area, you've got electric induction heating. 800 amps of lithium batteries on board that will be knocking out a huge amount of power you've got the power coming in because the roof is covered in solar so you can't see that but it's up there and probably in the sort of places you'll be going to the sun will be shining alternatively you may decide to go to the tundras of northern Russia but even the sun does shine there in summer so uh, that'd be good as well if you want to do some cooking, and yeah, you've got plenty of prep space up here, you can sit and relax around the table. You've even got a microwave. I hate them things myself, but uh, anyway, uh, that's that. <laughs> Lockers around the walls, as you'd expect. You've got the telly there, should you so desire. And you've got to see what's happening from the electrical front up there. Now, clearly, we're indoors here, so the solar won't be working too well, but it will be working a bit. Now, beds up there, enormous bed, and oh yeah, that's a domestic uh, mattress, very thick. And you've got this thing here underneath. There, I'll show you that. That's important because I had a black mold problem in my van and uh, I, I think if you're going on rugged places, it's the sort of place in the middle of nowhere you might end up getting mold uh, through lack of circulation. What this stuff here does is it, stop, it keeps the air floating around and it stops the mold forming. So that is something, actually I believe that sort of stuff should really be in every van now and um, I want to get something to put in my own van but I'm going to start suggesting it to other people, so you heard it first. Now, here we have a very nice glass door, toilet, which looks a bit like a toilet in a hotel, to be quite honest. And, guess what's going to be on the other side? Ah, you got it wrong, it's a shower. <laughs> oh, he did say shower, sorry. And the shower is properly done, profile floor, so the water flows off. Enormous water containers on this vehicle, as you would expect. I'll find the details on my site because it's a bit difficult to re remember all the, everything that's on this. What I wanted to do is to show you what it's like. My site is www.motorhomefulltime.com and you can find more about this. Quite amazing vehicle there. Another little touch here. I'm going to mention this lighting down below. I think that's a, that's a, that's a good thing, which I'll also be putting in my van as well. Now, you could live in this, you could you could sort of get lost in the middle of nowhere and then run out of fuel or something, then you'd be living in this, hey, you'd be alright for power, you'd be alright for uh, a safe place to live, <laughs> you might have problems with the food though, but hey, this, this van is big enough to store lots and lots of things inside. I think it's... Uh, I mean, it's pretty good. I mean, it's a bit of a 
not like that in my case going safari or something like that but all the same um, look how even that the glasses how they the glass at the wine glass up there and it is something which you've got this this comfort at the same time as being no doubt in very rugged environment outside most of us never actually come off the road and if we do it's uh, it's not very far off the road but in something like this and I can only say for my own self it really sort of gives me the urge to explore places I really would like to go to Central Asia some of Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan, Russia, Kazakhstan, even China. Something like that. Ah, that must be great.